It really is no mystery that Mullen has been running in sympathy to the broader markets. But why do technicals suggest a sell signal when we're on our way up? Well, let's go ahead and find out in this video. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again. This is Arca coming at you with a Mullen raw price action and technicals thread of analysis. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community, RCAB, in Discord. But with that said, let's go ahead and dive right into the charts. Yeah, so we're actually looking at Mullen in the one hour chart here, and this is uh direct correlation actually to the broader markets we have the dow jones industrial we have the spx the nasdaq and we have btc all in an upward trend and it looks like mullen has had its upward running according to these uh broader market movements as well <clears throat> excuse me so even if you click on more technicals here you'll see that we're definitely suggested a strong sell based on the uh the algorithmic metrics from trading view software um so why why is that i mean i understand like things like this like we have the simple moving average 100 day as a sell signal so if we go back in here and we just apply or we take a look for example here this is the 100 day moving average yes of course we're way below it i can understand why that can be a sell but I mean, honestly, I see upside, <laughs> and I'm going to explain to you why. So this is now the daily chart that we're looking at, and this is actually the same chart we've been looking at for quite a while. This is where we had the ascending uh, channel, where we had the ABCD strategy that actually failed due to the broader the broader market spectrum. So we have since printed a descending wedge, or a falling wedge, sorry, and this wedge does have a price objective for us to look at, and the good thing is here is is that we have recently broken out of it and are now in the process of testing the newly converted resistance into support now. Okay, so what does that mean exactly? So upon confirmation or validation of our support line now, we actually do have an upside trajectory. So we can actually take that price objective by taking a trend line from the top of the triangle down to the bottom of the triangle and applying it to the point of breakout, which would be this candle here. So now we can actually see a top side target that has ve that has uh, some direct confluence actually with the three spot 618 golden mean. Very important for us to notice the 618 ratios within the Fibonacci retracements. Uh, sentiment usually likes to take the trades to these levels here. Interesting fact about the Fibonacci uh, sequence is is, is that it's actually not just used in trading it's used in natural sciences it's used in art uh it's the golden mean right so life abides by this apparently so the, in and you know uh, we use it in trading a lot and geometrically speaking we are on our way to make this implied projective uh projected target so uh here's here's something that you should notice on a daily print this doesn't give us much information. This is called a spinning top doji. And a spinning top doji candle usually prints when there's a uh, uh, per se uh, tie between the bears and the bulls. Okay, so now it is slightly favoring the bulls just a little bit, which is a good sign since we are at that support test range, right? So now um, here you can see that we did the intention to come back and test this is very much important. But in doing so, take a look at this. There is a gap there that we have now filled. Since it was so close, we might as well fill it. We talk about this often, right? So now this is indicating a potential validation of support before us continuing to, uh, to the upside. Please bear in mind that we are in a daily chart here. And we still have the 10-day simple moving average above us, which is which is just another obstacle for us to go over. Aside from that, the EMA 7 is probably right there as well. And yes, it is. So the EMA7 is right here and the SMA10 is there. So these are definitely some obstacles for us to for us to conquer first. Aside from the SMA10 sitting right over here, you can actually see that the not 618 Fibonacci ratio is sitting at 22, 2205 to be precise. Oh, yet another uh, obstacle for us to for us to conquer. OK, so there is going to be uh, probably a rocky trek to the upside. And uh, if this um, if this target does realize 
and it does overshoot just a little bit, we are very likely to find resistance within this gap right over here, which is in between 45 and 47 cents. This is the gap range uh, listed right for you here. Okay. Uh, aside from that, of course, we have the four spot six one eight right at the top of this uh, right at the top of this range, and the four spot two three six. Very very strong areas of resistance of which I do not believe us to break through just quite yet okay so this is going to take some time to to fortify but i we're going to you know we're on our way there so let's go ahead and continue verifying our movement here so now this is the uh, i'm going to show you some divergent drives here and divergence is actually the opposition from uh indicators uh from an indicator's direction versus the price action direction. So in this case, I have found one, two, three, four, five uh, drives of phantom bullish divergence. So the bullish divergence is particular to price action, making a lower low, which is right here, bullish regular divergence. You have a price action lower low and the RSI or MACD, but in our case, we're using an RSI. Uh, the RSI signal is making a series of higher lows. So in this case, you see the higher lows and price action doing this right here. What makes it phantom is, is that we're going through price action to reach the to reach the level of the divergence. So that makes it drives a phantom bullish divergence, which is very good. Still, we're definitely on our way to the top and have have since confirmed this uh, these drives of bullish divergence so the reason why I have white and yellow is because these two drives were already uh, identified before excuse me so they were identified actually one day early of the upside move that we risk that we recently got so I actually said on on this day here I said uh, Mullen's going up and uh, <laughs> It didn't. It went down, and then it actually went up the following day. My apologies. I know some people said, "Don't worry, Arca. It's uh, it's okay. You 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 know you you can't nail them to the to the minute, right?" So, it it is true. I, I am not able to to nail these uh, to the minute. Uh, however, I did feel bad a little bit if some people. Uh, ended up going long in this area and it actually went down and made made Arca look like a clown. <laughs> but yes, it, it did. Uh, the upside move did happen per our uh, analysis and and now we're following a, a pattern. So now this pattern is actually very much in accordance to what's happening within this uh, conversion of resistance into support, which is and also the gap. So we were we were definitely in, in, a, in a good place right now. And it looks like this. Uh, this print of this candle and this candle this is a confirmation of a continuation to the upside um, now the rsi on the 12 hour particularly is suggesting a continuation onto the upside as well so this is entirely going against the metrics of the the algorithmic buy and sell uh from trading view so this is yeah <laughs> uh I don't I don't know how to take that. You know what I mean? So maybe it is looking at the daily chart and is looking that every single moving average known to man ever and Fibonacci ratio is is above us. So the likelihood of going up is it doesn't look so good to an algo. Right. So but to per our discretionary side in trading, it does look good and it looks like it's preparing for some upside. Now, do note that this is the pretty much the earliest, earliest stage that a breakout trader would gain entry it would be usually at this area at the these are aggressive traders here okay so this this would be like the confirmation to go in for a long shot with the tight stop loss here so know that th there's a potential that the algorithmic the algorithmic uh, suggestion hasn't caught up to this uh, strategy just yet so we could be ahead of the algo okay so in so now uh let's open up a multi pane to grab uh, bias for direction in the immediate short term as well. So we'll go ahead and load up a 30 minute RSI here and see what we have. So the 30 minute RSI is absolutely suggesting a continuation onto the upside and it has since uh, surpassed the shallow areas of the of the bull weakness percentile, which can actually be identified by this um, by these RSI properties here. I've actually made this di this diagram here for you to be able to follow along. You have four zones here, four zones of which are located here as well. And yeah, so 
uh, yeah, like I said, continuation onto the upside looks good. Uh, we're, it's aggressive, so very good. So now the buy hourly is also suggesting a continuation onto the upside. We do have to be careful within the area, within these areas, like I said, the shallow areas, because uh, usually we're, when we're in the shallow areas of the, either zone, we can't give it too much credit. So we, although it is suggesting an upside, we do have to, uh, um, you know, tread carefully. The six hour RSI is suggesting a slightly slower upside continuation. Now it is beyond the deep areas of the bear weakness percentile, which means the likelihood of continuing to the upside are greater. But however, we do have to watch watch out for the pivot being a little slower so the upside could be uh for tomorrow to the mid session or maybe to the end of the session so now the daily rsi is suggesting a continuation onto the downside but remember when we're in the shallow areas of that per of of that uh of that percentile in this case being the bear strength percentile we're likely to correct and continue on to the upside let's just let's just let's see for just for giggles let's see the okay so the buy hourly is actually starting a convergence here so this is this is likely to continue on to the upside but remember we are well within the grips of the bear strength percentile here so uh there could be some downside in in a couple days or or maybe by tuesday or wednesday and the reason why i say that is because it could be in accordance to what we're looking at here uh where we make another test continue on to the upside and we could potentially find some resistance either at the at the not 618 at 22 cents or the 786 at 23 before uh finding a, a short-term pullback and then continuing on to the upside okay so we can actually project that type of movement for for mullet now, since there is a little bit of indecisiveness happening here, we can actually add another form of we can add another trick to this. And the way we're going to do that is actually by applying the the arc series Crips text indicators for us to see if we can get a true edge for that direction. So these indicators are actually made by a team called Crips text trading of, of which they've recently endorsed me or partnered with me, if you will. Uh, so they have granted me access into an excellent set of indicators. Th these are three of eight indicators right now. So this is the ARC Armor, which is comprised of about nine uh, exponential moving averages, uh, all set to a very tight proximity to a slower proximity within, within, a, within the, the time frame of the EMAs. That allows that allows the price action to give the EMAs a wave of motion, and then it's a, based on that wave of motion, it's able to give you a, a long and short, meaning that it can give you a buy and sell signal. So it, uh, where is that uh, file here? So this is this is actually what you would get in the, in acquiring these indicators. So the this indicator was developed to provide the simple buy sell signals based on the movement of the EMA lines. So in this case, you have a long signal here, it goes all the way up, you have a short signal here, it goes all the way down, and we still haven't printed a long signal quite yet. But if you pair it with an uh with the an arc in with the arc enhanced MACD, uh so here are some of those indicators. Sorry. In my only scripts, here they are. So uh, when you pair it with the ARC Enhanced MACD, which is this one right over here, uh, this, you can actually see that the ARC Enhanced MACD is giving us a buy signal a little earlier than ARC Armor. So this could be uh, this could be the, the the entry point and this can be the confirmation for a continuation onto the upside. Now, the reason why I have whale, the ARC Whale Spotter down here is because I'm forward testing the 12 hour or daily time frame and the 12 hour and daily time frame are actually in accordance to what I am talking about within this uh, this pain. Let me open up the single pane for us to remind you and open up the 12 hour. Let's see. So according to the 12 hour here, we are getting the bullish drives of divergence and it looks like whale spotter has noticed those divergences as well. So we definitely are looking pretty good for this indicator also in the long term or the or the or the larger term time frame. So which is interesting because the these are these are essentially made for short term trades and they're essentially made for for more a scalping uh, style things. But I'm forward testing the the uh, 
the larger time frames because I usually trade a larger time frame and these are still giving me some success. So th this is this is great to know that the bullish divergence is in play right here, just like it is in my manual drawing as well. So um, yeah, so there is there is some upside coming up for Mullen, you guys. I I, I think uh, excuse me, I think we should uh, kind of be careful for the for the second day, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. But some upside is coming. It's coming up, and I and I think it it looks healthy. Okay, so I, uh, this is a pretty good place for me to leave off the video. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out to me on Twitter or Discord. I'll make sure to leave the links in the description below for you to consider joining the RCAP Trading Community. But with that said, I wish you a good night, and I will catch you at the Bell Manana. Adios.